Uh, hey guys, uh, it's Sushi here and I will be showing you how to install Windows 7 or Windows 10 on your VMware Workstation. So first things first, you need a uh, Windows 7 or Windows 10 ISO file or installer which is the uh, operating system that you will install in your VMware. So I will show you guys. So I have my VMware here which is VMware 16 create a new virtual machine like this then choose the uh, typical don't mind the custom and install this image file which is the ISO so let's browse the ISO so I will go to my files here are my files I have my Windows 10 32 bit and 64 bit and I have my Windows 7 uh, 32 bit as well but <clears throat> yeah I will provide a uh, download link for operating system guys in the description later so all right let's proceed so I'm about to install Windows 7 then open then hit next and you don't need a product key here version of Windows to install uh, it, it depends on you if you want different uh, version of Windows you want to install. So I'll be choosing which is the 7, the ultimate, which is the latest for Windows 7. Dog. The full name is Dog. Separate VM name for Dog1. Alright. So next. So maximum this size, which is 16 gigabyte, and recommended size for Windows 7, which is. Uh, 60 gig so let's stay on a 60 power on this virtual machine after creation then let's finish <clears throat> so let's wait for the VMware we have the VMware dog one here that we just uh, recently created so uh, here it is as you can see guys the dog one Windows 7 setup is starting so what I need to do is to wait just have to wait so completing installation so we just have to wait and wait and wait and wait <laughs> so setup will continue after restarting your computer so setup is checking video performance so which which means that your uh, Windows 7 is already uh, installing uh, things like we're preparing your uh, Windows 7. You're freshly installing Windows 7 in VMware Workstation. So, as you can see, guys, here, so we are successfully, we successfully install a Windows 7 in our uh, VMware Workstation. So, I will show you guys how to uh, install VMware tools. Do you guys see this uh, dog one? <laughs> I'm about to right click it then install VMware tools as you can see that you cannot click the install VMware tools because we haven't activated yet it's the floppy disk in the settings so if you want to install the VMware tools we have to uh, turn off this uh, VMware so shut it down once it's shut down and go to the edit virtual machine settings so do you see it is fluffy the fluffy fluffy <laughs> or which is the fluffy disk and fluffy disk auto detect then hit ok then once you hit ok then power on the virtual machine cannot connect the virtual machine device fluffy zero because the corresponding device is available on the host do you want to try to connect this virtual machine every time you power on the virtual machine yes of course Go to your uh, to your folder here, Windows Explorer, then to your computer, and as you can see, we have the floppy disk drive and the DVD drive VMware tools that we just made uh, early, er, er, earlier. So double click it and yes, then VMware product installation, preparing VMware tools for installation. Sad, just have to wait again. So VMware tool setup. VMware tools are installed with our VMware tools, so you don't need to uh, read this uh, description. You'll just hit next, then typical, hit next, then install. And you will see here there will be an error. 
And don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. After you're done watching this video. So as you can see guys, set up failed to install the B-Shock Visual Machine Communication Socket. Driver automatically. This driver will have to be installed man. So hit OK. BMX Net 3 driver. As you can see guys, the first uh, first error. If you don't have the uh, latest or the uh, security updates for Windows 7, you cannot install uh, drivers such as it appears uh, earlier. So the server will have to be installed. See? It's the whole skill share from the server. Then hit OK, hit OK, then next. Install this driver anyway. If you don't want to uh, occur those errors, we need to install the security updates. So finish and it will restart. So as you can see here, our uh, Windows 7 which is 32-bit, uh, which is eight times 86. Times 86 is for 32-bit and times 64 is for 64 bits. <laughs> Just remove it. So what you have to do is to download this thing download so once it's finished downloading so go to your uh go to your downloads and grab this uh, windows uh, security updates you just have to copy it copy then place it here like that easy so open it windows updates not alone installer so yes the updates are being installed then you just have to wait so that all of the tools uh, that are needed in VMware will be installed automatically. So here we are. It's already done. Uh, done restarting. So what you have to do is to go to Dog1. Then reinstall the VMware tools. And you see guys there will be no uh, errors. There will be no errors. Yes. Install VMware tools. So next, then repair, then repair. Guys, repairing VMware tools, and it will reinstall, guys, the VMware tools. And then you just have to wait again. And when it's done. It will restart again, then poof! You have your own Windows 7 in VMware Workstation. So you can put any files or, or other low, low spec games, low spec requirements games. And, and as you can see, there are no errors, right? There are no errors. So you're good. Then finish and restart. And there you have it, guys. You do now have your own Windows 7 VM work. And I hope uh, this video helps you a lot. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, and that's it, guys. See you next time. Bye, yours.